Before you watch this video, make sure you click onto that and get caught up with what the hell I'm talking about, if you haven't already. After you watch that video, then come back to me. This shit's crazy. I never cared to look into that whole book thing because Clarence NYC's ex did not write that book. But because that whole situation was brought up, the ex is gonna take advantage of the situation and make money off of it. Now, I don't know the girl. I don't know her intentions, really. This is gonna actually be my first video that I see of her. Leslie Enos, I think is how you pronounce her name, uploaded a video called Response to My Ex. The video that I uploaded earlier is Clarence's video that she's responding to. I told y'all, go watch that first and then come watch this one so you'll better understand the situation. All right, guys, are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. Me and Clarence were together for five years, like I stated before. Ooh, five years. And there were good times, and there were also bad times. Reference to the part of that he was looking for me, he was trying to look for me, or whatever that he's maybe. Yes, around that time that he was looking for me and he was trying very, very hard. It was time where I was going through a heart heartache, like. I was trying so hard to be strong, be a strong woman, and not go back to him because I found out he cheated on me. Ooh, okay? He was um, cheating. Yeah, he was trying to find me. He sent me messages like crazy, trying to get back with me, and trying to figure out why I disappeared, and I'm not saying anything anymore. Because sometimes the best policy is not to say nothing. Because you get and fed I up. Quiet. <laughs> and I ignored him, and I was swallowing it. He would send me voicemails. Listen, I know y'all probably thinking, okay, now you. So what are you doing, Bliss? Are you are you switching ships now? No, it's not that. I'm reacting to what these people got to say. I'm not on neither side. I don't know these motherfuckers. Don't know Clarence, don't know Queen, don't know what's the fuck's her name, Leslie. So let me react. Thank you. I would listen to it and I would cry while listening to it. I was hurting myself through the process too because Lord knows that I wanted to talk to him again and, and, and try to figure it out. But I knew that it wasn't right. I knew that he lied to me and I don't know how he did it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when it happened. It was just so sneaky that I don't know how it went down. And I'm not here to talk about my relationship with him when we were together five years ago. In a, in a, in two, two, three years of our relationship when I found things out and stuff like that. Like, I'm not here to talk about it because I know you guys don't really care about it. I don't. It. And I don't Sorry. want to bash him about it. But I already addressed it. I already addressed that we did go through a lot of things and I took him back. I forgave him a lot of times. And I'm not no saint, but I know that I didn't sleep no with nobody while we were together. I know I didn't do half the stuff that you did to me. No, I didn't. Who cares? What the hell is going on here? Why are y'all talking about the past? Let that shit go. Y'all broke up three years ago. Girl, you still talk like you're hurt by it. Are you hurt because you're not in Queen's position? You're not his queen anymore? You don't have kids with him? You're not successful with him anymore? Five years is a long time. I get why you're hurt. Girl, let that shit go. And torment your mind. I didn't do none of that. God damn. I was the one in a very dark space because I was dealing with a master manipulator Ooh. at the time. No one knows the stuff that I've been through. No, so you're right. So it's not fair to downplay my story or anything like that. 2017, I was still with Clarence. September 4th, that first half of the conversation that he's showing with him and Queen, I was still living in the house, okay? That's when we were watching YouTube or whatever. He started his first YouTube channel, his first q and I was still with him. I was there. I have a picture. Like, I was there at that time. And I didn't know. I didn't know that Queen had a whole conversation with him. I didn't know that. He just told me, oh, yeah, she told me I should start YouTube. And very nonchalant. Very nonchalant. Very, like... Don't think too hard about it. Girl, because that conversation was strictly business. Is he supposed to tell you every message that he sends or receives to you? If that's what you expected from him, 
then that sounds controlling on your end. If nothing is happening, there's nothing to really talk about. Again, that's your insecurities. Because of course I would, I would think something. The girl was famous on YouTube and I've watched her. And that, that's, that's, that's scary to know. That would make me, that would make me insecure and like want to watch him a little bit more. Well that's shit, at least she knows it's her insecurity. It's not necessarily him. One conversation that I, I don't remember ever seeing because I didn't care to watch their videos and how they started and how it happened. So this was the first time I actually seen the conversation. And look, we were together at that time, which is stated in the, in the conversation or whatever. And around October, the ending of October was when he asked for space. I've already been through so much. Imagine four or five years. I've already been through so much for somebody to say, I need space? Fine. Girl. You hurt me. I told you guys I cried about it. Girl, what is what is wrong with you? <laughs> Listen, I don't like to see someone hurt. I really don't. But this was three years ago. What you look crazy. You regret letting him go. You're hurt. Girl, but this is a bad look on you though. This is a bad look on you, girl. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Your prince has not come into your life yet, but it but he will though. Clarence ain't the only guy out there. Girl, let it go. Let it go. Those tears for what? Allow him to be happy. Like I was saying, and Once I'm you let that shit go, you'll finally find happiness, but Holding on to shit like this? Uh -uh. Where he asked for the space. We never, when I say we didn't That's officially crazy. break up, because we never said it's over. At that time, it was just a break that he wanted a space. He told me, I need, to, uh, there's things that I want to do, and I can't do it while you're here. Which is what he said. And that made me feel some type of way. I was trying my best to just, like, not trip about it and just know that I'm, I'm I'm looking out for somebody that I love. Like, how was it? And um, two months later, Queen came in the picture. And I don't know why she flew down to New York. Two months later, so this is two months into their breakup, which is the, which means Queen and Clarence did nothing wrong. But that shit happened so fast. Mm -hmm, yeah. She came to New York so fast. Mm hmm. She and did. she knew about my relationship with Clarence. And? She knew that we were together for five years. And? And she knew how much he loved me and how much his family loved me. And? You know what? Y'all are broken up though. She don't owe you shit. She don't owe you an explanation. Nothing. Not even Clarence. I get the hurt. I get how that must have felt. But they still did nothing wrong. You know how she knew that? Because his mother never wanted to be in their videos. His mother still loved me. Okay? So she knew. But and Clarence, we was both knew that anymore. His mom didn't want any parts in the video and she Girl, who were you dating? Were you dating Clarence or were you dating his mama? Which one? Which one matters? Leslie, I'm talking to you. But I'm looking at the screen looking at you. But I'm talking to you. Explain that one to me. She told me, she said, Leslie, right, they, they know I don't want to be in the video. I'm not part of that. You know I love you, whatever. She didn't want to be in the videos. So she knew how much his family loved me and how much he loved me. Okay? Oh, my God. So what better way? <laughs> Yo. What better way? I can't take her serious. So you're going to blame all this on Queen. Are you calling her a homewrecker even though your home has already been wrecked? A long time ago? To feel more superior than me. Nah, girl. And take all that love away from me and my family away from me. What better way? I'm confused. What better way than to have a baby? Ooh. What? Ah, uh, okay, listen. Listen, listen, I can understand her a little bit. I have attempted to conceive six times. For some reason, 
it was not working. I could not get pregnant. I had six IUI procedures, which led to six pregnancy tests that all failed. So I know how it feels to not ever get pregnant, wanting a family so much, and then just having a relationship to end. I mean, this part did not happen to me, but I can only imagine to have your partner that you once loved and tried to create a family with get pregnant or pregnant someone else that quick, just like that, just like that. So in the five years that she was with Clarence, that pregnancy never happened, and Queen and Clarence, got together what months and got pregnant that's just gotta burn that's just gotta burn it's gotta hurt at the same time this was not your plan this is not the life that god wanted for you do not blame everything on queen you are attacking this woman who just fell in love and conceived a child with him this was not her doing girl you had to let it go that he got he finally got famous because he always wanted to be famous i'm happy that he got there oh, but back to her what better way than to like get his eyes off me i still quiet i swallowed this pain i didn't even express i tried to write to him and express this pain that i had i think people were speculating that she was pregnant in four months of them speaking i think that was around uh, that's what the calculations came up as and um oof yeah. But they let it out August, around August, I think it was, that they let out the news. And when I found out those news, I had just woken up one morning and my phone was blown up. And I'm talking about my whole family. Sandra even called me. His mother even called me. And I didn't answer. Damn. Because I was obviously sleeping, but when I woke up, I already saw social media attacking me. How you feel, sis? How Damn. you feel he got her pregnant? Damn. How you feel that she was in the bed that she was laying in? Damn. And blah, 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 blah. They was just saying mean things to me. Mean. And I ignored it. I didn't say nothing. And that's even worse, to have strangers messaging you about the life that you're living right now. The hurt that you're feeling right now. Have people attacking you. How do you feel about that? How do you... Girl, I can't even imagine. Nothing about it. I stood quiet. Damn. Okay. I didn't even call her back because what are you gonna? What are you calling me for? Damn. What are you calling me for? Just a few. I don't know what month it was or a week. I don't know. I, there was a time that I went. I wanted. To, I want to get the storyline straight. But when I was, when I, let me go back. When I was. When I left and I gave him that space, those two months or whatever, and right when they started, like, I don't know, I think they were going live, I want to say, or when they all surfaced and, and, and I was introduced to their bond and their friendship, I remember speaking on the phone with him, and he told me, I'm going to say this again, this is business, I'm going to say this was either this January I don't know when it popped up. I want to say this was in January or sometime. Or December. I, I can't. Girl, I'm sorry, but these months that you're coming up with is not going to mean shit until you pull up receipts. Since you want to since you wanna do YouTube now, this is how YouTube works. If you want people to believe you, you need receipts. So, say whatever month it is that you're talking about, because it seems like you don't even know. It had to be the ending of December. Something along those lines. I don't really, I can't pinpoint the date but it's when it, it, it started up so I was on the phone with him and he told me um you know this is business you know that I love you and I want to have babies with you and you're the girl that I want to marry he told me that I held on to that which I makes sense it was five years I just want it made sense why he said that because he didn't look at Queen like that nothing has began nothing has started between them two nothing so it seems like Clarence was being honest at the moment. To be happy and get to the space where he wanted to. And yes, I was in a dark space. I lost myself in him. Okay? You can't blame me for that. Another thing that I was holding on to, because around the time, around that time that they got together or whatever, I don't, I can't pinpoint the dates because... I'm not going to go back to their videos or figure out how it all started or anything like that. But I do remember when I went to his house and I didn't feel comfortable going to the basement because I already knew someone else was there. 
You don't blame you. Where it was my home. It's no longer my home no more because I left and someone was there. Yeah, don't blame you. But I remember talking to his mom. And his mom was telling me, Leslie, just be patient. Give him his space. You know that's not his type. You're his type. What? Okay. She told me that. And it was, I don't know, maybe to comfort me during the space time that we were going through maybe it was to come for me and still to keep me there because she knew she knew us more than anything like i lived with them you know what i'm saying um and yeah that was comforting but I, I, i'm a woman i know i know and i know when a girl wants what she wants she's gonna get it she's gonna get it she will <laughs> try some way somehow but it's not what the way you think though girl. i also held on to what his mom said to me <sighs> i also held on to what she said and she said more things that i'm not gonna say because it's not necessary okay it's not necessary for me to say so i'm gonna just leave that there but she did tell me that that's that's not his type you're his type yada 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 and i was like okay i guess I'm just trying to think off that because I don't have a notebook. I don't, I talk about things from my heart and how I remember my story. I'm not here noting things down. I, I, I try to do that, but I just can't reread shit. I can't, just can't do it. But I gave him his space, his space or whatever, and we was talking here and there, but it was hard for me to talk to him because it was hard for me to accept the fact that she was in the house mm -hmm. making videos in the bed in the couch and, and it was hard for me to see and i'm not i'm not gonna be naive to what could have possibly happened in the crib i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be dumb about it and when i say the videos was getting a little too much it was getting a little too much for me that i knew that i had to just let him go and then when when i when you mentioned about clout and chasing money and oh, blah blah shit. blah because i because that's what i said when i didn't say that i said i was referring to the book and i said you never told me that but it's the obvious and what i mean by that is yes those business collaboration that you already agreed that you told me those business collaborations that you said you was gonna have was only gonna help you yes you was gonna grow your following and if it came with money, then it came with money. But I wasn't saying you out here chasing clout or you chasing money. I didn't say none of that. But it was the obvious. That was going to happen. Of course. That's the whole point of networking. You're trying to build your brand. You're trying to build your business. You want the following. You want the money. So any type of, co any type of connections you create should help you in that and this was a stepping stone this is how it began between clarence and queen there's nothing wrong with that okay i didn't say none of that and to talk about I, um that you said that i was body shaming her or or talking about me and her like i've never done that neither like if, if i did that please show me that because i never did that and i'm pretty sure youtube would have already had it i do remember making a video on live <laughs> i was on live and they recorded me and it's on youtube and they were talking crap about queen on my live and i was just like please guys take the negative off my page or whatever i think she has a beautiful voice i wish her many success i did say that i remember that Something along those lines I said. What was this diss track that he speaks the of? The diss track? Yeah, what's I've that? I never made a diss track. Does it even look like I would make a diss track? I don't <laughs> got bars. I don't, I don't rap. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I don't got bars. And when she says that, I, I believe her. I don't got bars. <laughs> this bitch. So what, so what is this diss track that Clarence speaks of? My special tea. <laughs> Why would I even do that? I'm, people make their own. Oh, that's funny. The whole internet was making their own assumptions. And that's just funny. they were critiquing and giving their own opinions or whatever. And if somebody and anybody in my family wanted to do something like that, that's their business. I had nothing to do with it. Okay? I had nothing to do with that. And when you called me and you pressed me about it, 
I was on the phone with you and I was crying because the way my Instagram was going, it was going bananas. They were attacking like, you, huh? People were going crazy on me. And I was just like, yo, but I didn't, I have no parts of this. not me. That is not like me to do that. Okay? It's just not like me. So don't try to make me look like something that I'm not. I was never a messy person. This okay. is why exes should never talk about their past relationship. This is why they shouldn't speak to each other so much, neither. I'm all for exes being friends. As long as you don't talk about the past, you are creating a friendship only now. No romantic shit. So let's not even talk about that. We are strictly friends now, so let's create this friendship. This is why some exes are not meant to be friends. They just keep dwelling on the fucking past. I don't if understand. If I wanted something out of you guys, I would have did it a long time ago. That's a true statement. I had an opportunity to do it a long time ago. Three years ago, you're right. Okay? And I, I sure as hell did not write this book. Okay. But it's talking shit about me. Nah, girl, you, three years later, you're like, shit, I want to be successful on YouTube, too, because I saw what happened to my ex. So if he can get that money, I'm going to get that money, too. And I have every right to say something. You do. Everyone has a okay, voice. I have every right to say something. Everyone has a perspective. What she feels is what really, it's re is really what she's feeling. And who are we to say that that's fake? You didn't even have to react to it, but you did. And I felt like I wanted to react to it too. And maybe when I was reacting to it, my storyline didn't, it made crazy speculations and I was misconstrued a, a few times or whatever because I was just going along with the book and what was popping up in my head when I remembered. What better way to take advantage of the space that we were in? To take advantage of the fact that he never had a kid. But you, you did. You have a baby, and you are an experienced woman. You know what it, what it takes to have a baby. What? Us women, we all track our ovulation. I'm pretty sure you did too. Uh. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she tracked her ovulation, her her menstrual. I'm pretty sure she knew when she was ovulating and when she was most fertile. Like you're not, you're not just gonna sleep with somebody and just not know mm -hmm. you was moving very maliciously very maliciously and for that i can't forgive you you had a so what you're saying is you think that queen trapped clarence i don't think so not for one second i think you're so off girl you're so off and it's because you're hurt now there are some women that do do that. I don't think this is the case. Ben, figure it out with him. This girl, I can't believe yeah, that. Yeah, he shit. did you wrong. And you was going through the share of things that you was going through, but so was I. And the same thing that you was going through, you did it to me. And the crazy part about this is- It's not that she did it to you, but she was in a, in a similar situation that Queen was in. A five-year relationship, love. Even though there was no kids involved, it was still like Cl she looked at Clarence like that was her future. It was pretty similar. Didn't even know him, but from the moment that you slid into his DM, you was plotting on him. Nah, you knew girl. Exactly what you was doing. Nah, girl. But it's okay. Nah. God does not like ugly. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot with this woman. I cannot. But I'm gonna continue watching if this story continues. I really wanna know where it goes. <laughs> I'm a reaction channel, what did you expect? All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.